Hello and welcome back again. This is Describe IP Operation. In previous section, we have discussed about ICMP unreachable echo message style. And now we are going to discuss onward ICMP redirect. What is a ICMP redirect and how does this work? So let discuss uh, let, let discuss this on the topology so that it make easier to make you understand. As we can see in this topology, suppose this is uh, internet connectivity and uh, as we know there may be thousands of thousands uh, network is connected over internet and you may have a topology, topology like this R1, R2, R3 and then after goes to the switch and the host which we have earlier used, uh, earlier we have used as a host in previous video. So if, if it is working as a host, it should be a gateway in order to access internet. So uh, as we know very well, if any host which is sending any data which not related to the connected network, they are going to send to the gateway. So in this case, gateway could be R1 or R3. And let's say if you choose R3 as a gateway, so whatever is the IP address of X, is going to be the gateway. So actively your R3 is going to send data over gig 0 slash 1 in order to get internet connectivity. This is true if uh, everything is fine, your network is converged. And let's understand what happened if this link goes down or something went wrong with this link. Now R3 has connectivity to network or internet I should say over this link. But what about host? Actually host still know if I need to send data to uh, in order to get internet connectivity in order to get data to different network I need to send this packet to my gateway address. So in this case this is X. So computer one going to send data to the X which is R3 address and R3 figure out um, are you looking to get this destination which is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8? I know how to get this network you need to go through this way and then after you can get this network. So now R3 know in order to get this network I am no longer gateway since you are the same uh, broadcast domain why are you coming to me you can directly go to the r1 and get this network so icmp going to redirect you means icmp going to uh, told you that is this is the better way to get this network rather than using me you can directly send to r1 if you sending to r3 r3 will going to send switch and send, switch again going to send to r1 in uh, this is this is what known as ICMP redirect. So ICMP redirect is direct your host to the appropriate gateway in same broadcast domain. So onward your uh, host will send data to R1. So now R1 uh, computer one come to know that R3 is no more. Uh, good source to get that network which is no more good uh, gateway I should say I can send data over R1 and then after I can get when connectivity or whatever network I am looking for so if link come up again I am going to be uh, the exact or I should say the active gateway since I am not using any um, first hop redundancy protocol like HSRP or some other one. So in this case your ICMP going to redirect traffic from this router to this router and if something went wrong with this link and this is working properly it going to redirect in this way. So suppose if you have selected this gateway in that case R1 going to direct to R3 if you selected R3 interface R3 going to redirect you from gig 0 slash 1 of R1. This is the task of your ICMP redirect. So let's see, let's verify 
how does it work so what i'm going to do i'm going to turn on my devices in performing these all uh, cli on cli all right now my devices is up and working this is time to verify the icmp redirect so first i would like to show you the icmp redirect type so i have already shared this link to the to the documents which you can download from the youtube link so icmp5 icmp type 5 which is used for redirect in their codes so redirecting for network redirecting for host and uh, redirecting for network uh, services uh, services for network and services for host i have already configuration file which i am going to apply on this topology so we have a 200.200.0 this segment 200.200.12 out the segment and 200.200.32.0 on this segment so the configuration is as it is as we have as we can see in topology on r1 gig 0 slash 1 which is connected to uh, switch 2 so using 200.200.0.1 so hop over to r1 copy and paste in this time I am using route, uh, routing protocol as a OSPF, you can use enhanced ICRP or some other protocol, that doesn't matter. So let me copy the content of R2 which is connected to the internet and paste to work R2. It's great. Likewise R3. And we also going to use OSPF as a routing protocol. So adding all network so that we, we have, we don't need to go through step by step or execute every command. And now verify on R2 that we have a connectivity to the internet. So 8.8.8.8.8, yes, I can able to get internet connectivity. I also make sure I'm also going to make sure R1 has also connectivity over internet. So R1 is able to get internet connectivity using gig 0 slash 1. So R1 will use this way in order to get internet connectivity. Similarly, if you're talking about R3, so let me use so IP route, which is alias I have already created. I will prefer gig 0 slash 1 exactly so because of the matrix r1 also going to select this route in order to get internet connectivity I'm also going to verify from r3 that we have a connectivity over internet or not maybe NAT is not working yes NAT is working which I have configured switch to what I going to do on switch to basically it's going to work as a hub which means no MAC address learning from VLAN 1 and this this interface going to work as a um, host interface which basically means they are not going to send any BPDU or some other messages then now the configuration required in switch 1 on switch 1 VLAN 1 and then IP address we also need to define the IP default gateway so switch is switch 1 is up and next task is IP default gateway which is 200.200.0.3 so currently switch 1 using this R3 as a gateway so let's see what happen if this link goes down so before turn off this interface, we need to verify the uh, using gateway actually. As we can see, 200.200.0.3 and then after 200.200.32.2, which is IP address of R2. 
so all right so currently your traffic going via r3 i am going to turn off this interface and then send a data again from the switch 1 to the internet switch 1 going to send to the r3 now r3 has connectivity in order to get internet from the r1 so r3 going to redirect to switch to r1 which basically means uh, up onward you don't need to send any data to me you can directly send data to r3 and r3 going to sorry r1 and r1 going to send to the internet so on r3 which is interface gig 0 slash 1 shut so once we turn off this interface now r3 should have a connectivity using gig 0 slash 0 in order to get internet let verify as we can see yes there it is so let me also enable packet sniffing on switch 2 on my laptop I should say so going to launch Wireshark as a packet sniffer and uh, selecting my ethernet interface so great send again data to the internet so ping 8.8.8.8 very good and also going to trace route 8.8.8.8 now you can see now i am sending data 200 200 0.1 which means via r1 so you can see so run excuse me so run section default gateway excuse me so run include default gateway you can see the gateway is 200.200.0.3 but we sending data uh, using 200.200.0.1 now it's time to figure out or uh, verify the ICMP redirect. So let me show you ICMP redirect ICMP Let's apply. Excuse me. Apply. Uh, over to upper side. We supposed to get ICMP redirect message right there. As we can see, this is the ICMP redirect. And let's see what kind of what type of ICMP is. So this is ICMP type 5 in code is 0, which basically means redirect for a network. So now it's redirecting using ICMP, no matter what application you're using are. So as we have discussed, this is type 5 in ICMP, uh, what was that? It was ICMP 0, which basically means for network redirect. So no matter what routing protocol you're using, as long as this interface is down, they are going to send the data out this interface. So what happen if I am turn it on again? No shut. So after a specific time, your host going to send data using uh, using R3 as a gateway. So let me show you. So from switch one, first try to ping. Uh, which is 200.200.32.3 is up yes it is so again going to trace route it dot it dot it dot it now let's see what uh, gateway is going to use now you can see this is 200.200.0.1 <laughs> which is this one it may take little bit time in order to go through this interface. Meantime, let verify that we uh, R3 got converged or not. So IP route. 
yes it converts it now so it may take a little bit time let me do it again ping 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8. it's great and again going to use trace route 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8. there we go as we can see now it's sending using r3 which is 200.200.0.3 so this is all about regarding this video in upcoming section we will discuss to the next topic